good morning. It's finally December and I'm gonna try to participate in Vlogmas. I don't think I do enough stuff every day to like do a vlog every day, but today I'm doing quite a bit of stuff. Right now I'm getting ready to go to my lash appointment. That's in like 10 minutes. I've had these lashes for a couple of, no, for like three weeks and they've held up pretty well. This was a volume set and I always get volume because by week two or three, they start looking like classics and they don't look really, really bad. But it definitely is time for a fill. So I just go to Amazing Lash Studio, honestly, because they do the best job. I have legit lash text and I don't have to worry about getting a hey boo text the morning of and then looking crazy for an extra two to three days. Because these new age stylists, whether it's like lash text or hair stylists, they are so unprofessional. Okay, but before I go, I need to put on some perfume of the day, so let's hurry up and pick that out. I'm gonna wear Ego Stratus from Juliet Has a Gun. This is their newest launch. It's like a cologne for women. It has blueberry, lemon, mandarin, and like some marine notes. Got it off of Twisted Lily. It's like super fresh, clean, effortless. But let's head over to this lash appointment. Okay, so I'm only five minutes late, which is good because I thought I was gonna be way later than this. I'm obsessed with this jacket. Oh my God, it's literally adorable. lash appointment i just woke up from that good lash nap and they look really good i just like asked for like a little sort of cat eye vibe so right now i'm on my way to the tailor just to get some pieces altered i ordered some cat suits and i literally freaking hate them so i'm just gonna turn them into body suits maybe even into like shirts because i would just really hate them so much they're so hideous and then also i ordered a skirt off of zara for black friday and what's well, a sport did i say that i don't know but i ordered a score off of zara for black friday it was so cute and i just need to get the waist taken in so i'm on my way to do that all right i'm here at the place why why am i doing that i'm here at the place but i'm getting distracted because i'm looking at revolve they just have like the cutest stuff so i need to get out soon because i don't have time to play around <gasps> look at these like holographic leggings Okay, let's get out. Okay, so this is the bodysuit from Skims. I don't think I'm gonna get this altered just yet. I'm gonna keep it because I don't know how I'm gonna get it done. I'm really not a fan of it. I'll just wear it as is underneath like jeans and stuff. I decided to come to Starbucks because I'm so parched. I just need a water and Starbucks water is way better than any other water. And one day I ordered like four waters for me and my friend and I was like, sorry to order so many waters it's just so good like i don't know what it is and they're like oh our water is actually triple filtered that's why it tastes so good now that i know this i'm never going anywhere else for my water but whenever i want water i just go to starbucks like i literally have starbucks water cups all in my car that i need to clean out because oh their water is just superior all right we're gonna start we're gonna hear for you hi can i get a tall iced matcha with coconut milk and then <laughs> Can I also get two venti ice waters? Thank you. Because I am going to the gym. Thanks. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, I can't drive. All right, first sip. Okay, so if y'all just don't like drinking dairy milk, you need to get coconut milk in your matcha. It tastes way better. I normally get chai in this also, but I just forgot to this time. But the coconut milk just takes it there. It gives it like the perfect amount of sweetness. The flavors are just dancing on my palate. Ice matcha with coconut milk. Sometimes I get a couple of pumps of chai or some vanilla sweet cream cold foam if I'm feeling frisky. Today I wasn't feeling frisky. Oh, I need to, I need to 
to plan out a few things. Look at how cute my iPad is. Ah! Okay, so Mean Girls is my comfort movie and I decorated my iPad so like a burn book. And obviously, if you can't tell, my favorite color is pink. So this is just so perfect. If y'all want these stickers, I did like just get an Amazon storefront and there's like three things on it. And I did make sure to include these stickers because a bunch of people swiped up on my story when I posted my iPad and they're like, where'd you get these stickers? So I was like, hold on. Instead of sending everybody the link, why don't I just make a storefront and link them but yeah these stickers are waterproof so they don't get dirty or anything i've had them for a couple of months and they're holding up really well I'm done with my workout. I was there for like an hour and a half and I, I'm beat. My butt is so sore already. I'm scared to wake up tomorrow because I know it's gonna hurt a million times worse. I didn't record all of it. I just recorded the little tidbits, but I finished off with some hip thrusts. 180 pounds on the hip thrusts. So my butt is done for. But now I'm about to treat myself to a little smoothie at Nectar. I normally get this elderberry smoothie, which is so yummy delicious. It's also good for your immune system. I'm so out of breath and I'm trying to talk, but on my way to Nectar, pick up a little smoothie and then we'll head home. I got my salad with pesto chicken, chickpeas, herb, vinaigrette, whatever. Mmm. Mmm. So yummy. Mmm. Okay. This is so mid. I just want a good juicy burger. It's fine, everything's fine. I just came home to a package from Twisted Lily and I'm super excited because new perfume, how can you not get excited? This is from Lo Germaine. This is called Possession. I was talking about this in a video like a couple months back. I sampled it and I really liked it. This has pineapple pulp, cyclamen, pear, Turkish rose, orange flower, amber, and musk. So it's a really nice musky, fruity floral, a little bit tropical, and I just think it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Look at this bottle, it's so gorgeous. Mm. There's something sparkling about this. It's tropical, it's floral, it's fruity, it's fun, but it's not like immature. I feel like if you like YSL Mom Perry, but you wanna like step it up, you would like this. Even though the notes are not the same at all, they're sort of in the same family. And I say that because YSL Mom Perry used to be my jam, that used to be all I wear, and this like really is reminding me of that, but just better. This is giving me tropical vacation. This fragrance is making me want to jet set right now. Somewhere with a really nice ocean view. I'm going to jet ski and then go to a really nice dinner that's like walking distance from my all-inclusive resort. Like I said earlier, this is from Twisted Lily, which means samples are available. So if you want to try that out, I'll leave it down below. You can also get 10% off with code Sarah10. They also included some samples in this box and I'm really excited. First is Yes I Do from a Leaf de Orange and I've actually really been wanting to try this. So so I'm glad they sent it. This has marshmallow, cocoa, jasmine, lily of the valley, musk. A lot of notes that I like, so I'm really excited to smell it. Okay, it starts off smelling like baby wipes. And that's because there's a note of aldehydes and normally aldehydes come across like baby wipe-ish on my skin. I wanna let that sit. Wait, hold on, it's getting sweet. That's good. This is a new scent from Memo Paris. It's called Madurai. There's notes of lemon, bergamot, turmeric, sage, peach, jasmine. The artwork on the inside is also really pretty. 
Memo just has really pretty bottles. I have one scent from Memo and the bottle itself is just like artwork. I was actually expecting to hate this because turmeric and sage. It smells like peach rings and the suede is really pretty. It's like making everything really smooth. You guys, this smells incredible. It's so peachy. It's really like a fruity floral. 10 out of 10. If you're looking for a peach fragrance that's not like overly sweet, very just like refined, sophisticated is gonna be it. The suede and the jasmine I think really balances it out. I'm like blown away right now. I need to take a shower because I've just been sitting in my sweaty clothes, which is so disgusting. So I'm gonna hop in there. I'll also show y'all what I got for Black Friday. I bought a bunch of fragrance. I bought some cute clothes. I did a little Aritzia shopping. I'm just getting out of the shower and I used my new Fenty body butter. Oh my god, do y'all see this shimmer? I am obsessed. First of all, it smells like cinnamon rolls and this glitter though, I just love it. I got this over Black Friday. It's the Fenty Skin Butter Drop Shimmering Whipped Oil Body Cream. It leaves you with such a radiant, shiny, sort of oily looking skin and I love it. It smells like those cinnamon pretzels that you get from the mall and like... Cinnabon, so edible. This would go so well with Lyra, with Angel Share, and I can't wait to layer this. I have to get ready because I am going somewhere. Didn't this Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Mask? It's just like a really thick lip balm, and it smells delicious, gives a nice little color, and it does make my lips feel like pumped up. And it's not a painful lip plumper because I hate when I try plumpers, and they're just too much. I need to get another one of those body butters before it goes out of stock. I'm gonna add it to my Christmas list. Hopefully this is my color. I actually don't know. I'm so scared right now, your honor. Okay, so while my face is doing that thing i am going to try to do something to my hair oh y'all i use kinky straight bundles so so it's just way easier to blend with my natural hair and then i'm gonna straighten using my dyson and i'm just gonna i don't know if i want to make it straight or do curls so we're just gonna see what i end up feeling okay i'm done with my makeup it doesn't actually look pale it was just the lighting but I am going to put on some gloss. I'm using this lip liner in the shade Toast. And then on top, I'm going to put another lip plumper. This is the Dior Gold one. Hold on, let me like really let y'all get into it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. giving you guys glitter realness before i change it to my outfit i want to show you everything i bought over black friday because i did blow a bag and i got a lot of new fragrances and i love sharing my fragrances fragrance is like my favorite thing in the world so whenever i get something new i have to come in here and share it with you guys so let's get started this is like the freakum dress of perfumes it just smells like wealth there's saffron there's tonka bean sugar cane oud and i don't like oud because i feel like it comes across as like a little too heavy sort of bordering on like grandma smelling but this just smells insane i got mine off of Saks, but they're definitely not having their black friday anymore so you can get this off of twisted lily with my code for some money off but they have like a good black friday on this but y'all two sprays of this is gonna last you an eternity it's just strong smoky woody sweet from the sugar cane and the tonka bean i'm just a tonka bean lover so anything with tonka bean is gonna get me so i had to get this when i saw that sale next a bond number nine set and oh bond number nine is so pricey and when i saw this trio i had to get it this is the women's luxe trio and i ordered this straight from the bond number nine website because they were sold out on Saks, and i think they're still sold out on neiman's one of these Perfumes retails for $3.80, but I got the entire set of three for $4.40. Tell me that isn't the deal of a lifetime. It's three of their best-selling women's scents. I'm gonna save these for a future video. Like, I'm gonna get real in-depth in a future video because these are just too good, and they're just so luxurious. Bond number nine just reminds me of Gunna. So when I put these on, I just feel like I'm a rapper's girlfriend. I just feel like Jada Weda. I feel like 
I need to have a bust down. I feel like I'm going to have my chain on and get a BBO. This is probably what I'm going to wear tonight because I feel like it would go really well with my body butter. But this is Tribeca. This is the truest gourmand in the set. And this has caramel, hazelnut, and cocoa. There's also some in Broxen, so it kind of does give you a little bit of Baccarat vibes. And I can't stand when people compare things to Baccarat. Like, not everything smells like Baccarat. It, li it actually makes me mad. But I'm being honest when I say it, it does sort of remind me of it just the, just a little bit. And it also came with Greenwich Village, which is super, super popular. It's actually a unisex scent, but I think it leans more feminine. This has praline, lychee, jasmine, water lily. This is so good. I really can't describe it to y'all, which is a first because I'm really good at describing things. You really do get the lychee. It smells like candy. And then the praline just... I need like more time. I am sort of in a rush to get out of here. My favorite one in the set is Nolita. I was not expecting this to be my favorite because I'm a gourmand girl. And this is a fruity floral. There's like rose, mandarin, jasmine, asia. I love it so much. So girly, flirty, and fruity. So I will also leave this link down below. It is actually the deal of a lifetime. Um, I believe that this is going for $5.25 right now. You can't get the extra percentage off because it's not Black Friday anymore, but it's still a really good deal. As far as clothes, um, I went to Aritzia and I got a bunch of cute things. I've already hung them up. I am standing in my closet right now, but first I got this adorable green sweater. This is the Peggy sweater and it's so cute and I can't wait to style this. This TNA jacket from Aritzia and it's just this olive color. I really like workout jackets right now and this just cinched my waist really nicely. Almost got the matching short. Next is this dress from Aritzia. So I'm obsessed with their Babaton dresses. I have like four of them and they retail for 110. This was 50% off. I got it for $54. It's the perfect little black dress. I love the plunge cuts on the neck. I have had my eye on this for months. Tell me why I walked in the store at 7.50 a.m. They only had one left. It happened to be in black and it happened to be in my size. I was just meant to have it. From Zara, I picked up this leather cropped puffer, which I'll actually be wearing tonight. And then from Fashion Nova, I don't know why I bought this because I don't know when I'll ever wear this. I feel like it'd be adorable for a sushi night with my friends. And then from Levi's, I got these 501 90s jeans and they are perfect. They fit me perfectly. They made my butt look really cute. And they're just like a long straight leg because I don't have any straight leg jeans. So I got these for 40% off. I got this Grace LA satin beanie, really cute. Also got a hot pink beanie. And then also this one from Levi's that's multicolored. I'm gonna get dressed. It is a little bit chilly, so I think this sugar plum top from jeans. And then for shoes, I'm gonna wear these because they're just so fun and cute. Okay, I low-key look gross, but I have to go an outfit. I'm just wearing the skim sugar plum fits everybody, this cropped puffer, these jeans, and then sparkly golden goose. Perfume tonight will be Tribeca. I feel like if I spent a lot of money on something, I need to use it. Like, I'm not gonna use it sparingly. Okay, y'all, let's go. Okay, y'all, I can't hang. I was supposed to go out, but I'm just way too tired, so I'm gonna call it a night. My dog is scratching himself. I made some fresh cookies. I'm just gonna change into my pajamas and go to bed. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.